So you're going on your Tinder dates, except it's a summertime and you really don't know what to do. You're tired of going to the movies and going for just dinner is kind of boring. Guys, it's warm outside. Women love to be outside. I love to be outside. I'm sure you love to be outside. And if you do, I highly recommend taking her out on a day date, maybe go around biking or take her on a nature walk. And I've got 10 fragrances here that are perfect for that. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome to my channel, Aromatics. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and let's get started with this list. I've got 10 fragrances here. All of them are pretty unique. There's something about each one of these that'll help you stand out and not just smell like the average Joe. So if you rock with any one of these, then I think it's perfect. I'll before we get started, I highly suggest that you don't go more than like four to six sprays max. You will be outside, so it's a little bit easier to go a bit heavier on the trigger, but you really don't want to gas her out. You want to be smelled, but you don't want to overdo it. Otherwise, that could be off-putting on its own. This first fragrance is the most aquatic of them all, and honestly, it's pretty strong. I think more than three to four sprays, you might put her off. And this one is called Victorioso Legend by Mason Alhambra. This is Invictus Legend. It's honestly... 90 to 95% close. And Invictus Legend is so strong, very aquatic. It's got this unique bay leaf in here that makes it stand out from most of these freshies. This one smells really nice. It smells uplifting, it smells aquatic, it smells playful. And I suggest you don't go more than four sprays if you're going on a date. At least test it out and see what you prefer. But guys, especially if it's a first date, you definitely don't wanna go more than three to four sprays on this one. I would highly suggest you wear this one if you're going to the beach, going to a lake, going biking around a body of water. I definitely would rock this near bodies of water. It just has this super aquatic vibe that really reminds me of the beach. But if you are in the higher heat, highly recommended. Like I said, no more than four sprays. So beach vibes, uh, sand, uh, things of that nature. Victorioso legend. The next fragrance is another freshy fragrance. This one has just enough spice to really break necks. The spice kick in here is so attractive and so attention grabbing. This is basically sedley, but in my opinion, better. And this is called Maher Legacy. Performance on this one, it's honestly average. It's a bit better than I get with my Sedley batch. And I'll tell you what, it is a newer batch where they reformulated it to enhance the performance, apparently. This one, I get about five to six hours out of. And to be honest with you guys, if you're going on a day date, that's all you really need. Once you get back home and if you're going to watch a movie or dinner afterwards or get busy, you could put something on that's a bit sexier. I still wouldn't recommend more than four to six sprays with this because it does have that decent dose of pepper. And for some people, it can come off a little bit too sharp. But for me, I would easily pick this one to rock during a day date. To be honest with you guys, this has a more upscale type of vibe. So with this, I'd probably rock this at like a coffee house, a brunch house, things like that where you still might be outdoors. So indoors, it might be a bit too much on the first date, but if you're outdoors, knock yourself out. So day dates where basically you wanna be a little bit more upscaled. It definitely has a more upscale vibe than the aforementioned Victorioso Legend. So let's move on to the next one. This next one is gonna come with a disclaimer because this one is a bit denser than most of these other ones. Ones. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's very oriental. So it's not a safe blind buy and it might not be safe for the first date. But if the lady you're taking out is oriental or she's into oriental vibes and bahoud and things like that, or you live in Dubai and you're going out and you want to smell kind of like oud and bahoud and things like that, this one will do that same vibe, but a bit fresher. So you've been warned for those of you in the West, it's a little bit weirder to rock oud in the summertime, but those in the East will understand exactly what I'm talking about. And this is from Amir and it's called Resurrection. This is Cologne. Oud, okay, so basically this is a fresh twist on Oud. It's a bit citrusy at the top with the base of Oud. That's as simple as it is. Very unusual DNA, very strange at first, but as you start to experiment and get more into Oud types of fragrances, this one I fell in love with to the point where I am literally hunting for the original. So Emir Resurrection, although not mass appealing and might not be safe for the first date, is very unique. Be very careful with your selection for Emir Resurrection, and uh, you really have to know what the woman's taste is if you're gonna pull this one out. That's what she said. The type of day date I would recommend this one for is pretty much the same as Maher Legacy. You wanna be upscaled, you might be going to a coffee house, or you're going for a walk in downtown on the summer day. This is something that would work for that. Honestly, I really think that this will appeal to the Eastern taste a lot more, but nevertheless, if you wanna get a little uncomfortable and you wanna dabble with something unique, a mere resurrection. Next fragrance on this list is Ejmal's Evoke Gold. Ejmal killed it with this one, honestly. This is basically 
Loam by Prada. It is so close. Of course, it's not 100% the same, but this is in that same family, right? So iris, some soapy vibes. This is very utilitarian. You're going to smell clean. You're going to smell posh. You're going to smell upscaled. And this is very gentleman-like of a fragrance. Kind of reminds me of fabric softeners and just things of that nature. And that makes this one a bit more versatile. But the only thing that I want to say about this fragrance is it is a bit denser. So it's not really appropriate for high heat. So if maybe you're indoors, on a day date, this is perfect. So the occasion, indoors, somewhere where there's AC, things like that. But this is more so spring type of vibes. Not all of these are going to be appropriate for the high heat summer, but nevertheless, they're still appropriate for day dates. So this one, maybe not summertime, but fall and spring, gorgeous stuff. And it's very strong. So this is another one that's going to get a disclaimer of no more than three to four sprays. Ajmal Evoke Gold. So although this one does smell very high quality, once you start going into like the eight sprays, nine sprays realm, it kind of starts to come off a little bit synthetic. So if you keep the sprays down on this one, I don't think you'll have a problem with it. Next one on this list is from Just Jack, aka Sterling Perfumes, which is also known as Armaf. And this is Almafi Coast. You guys, this is pretty much Mandarino di Almafi. It's a bit different. This is not going to be everyone's cup of tea either. So this is citruses, a little bit of woods, and an animalic bite in the base. Gives it just a little bit more of an interesting bite. By no means do I think that this one is a pissy fragrance, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be rocking it. But you definitely want to keep this one for strictly outdoors. You don't want to wear this indoors or anything like that because it smells much better when activated by the heat. So as your body starts to warm up and produce some oils and sweat, that's where this one shines. Indoors, I wouldn't really recommend this one. So on the coast and things of that nature, Amafi Coast will do really well. Next up on this list is Arda Zafaran's Desert Sultan Emerald. This one's pretty high class, man. It's a pretty classy fragrance. I kind of put it there in the same realm as something like Maher Legacy because it just seems very posh. It seems very luxurious. So similar occasions. I wouldn't really recommend this outdoors. It's too fancy for that. So indoor day dates, or even if you're going for a walk, nature walks, sure, but not where you're going to go and get sweaty. But then again, on a first date, you really shouldn't be getting sweaty. Not on the nature walk, nor afterwards. But no one's judging. Desert Sultan, though, great fragrance. It's got some greens. It's got this cactus note, which adds a little bit of a wateriness, almost like a cucumber undertone. It's just really nice. So it's light, but green at the same time. It has just a little bit of sweetness, and it has a nice watery trait to the green facets. So occasions with this, like I said, this definitely wouldn't be my pick if I'm going to go out and sweat or something like that. But nevertheless, on a day date, this one definitely smells pretty good. You have to be more inclined to green fragrances. Personally, I've learned that women don't really care too much for green fragrances. And I'm not really that much of a fan of green fragrances. But for those of you that are diehard green fragrances and you want something for those day dates, then I would recommend this fragrance. But if you're asking me personally, this might be the last pick on the list. Still though, this is really good. Just because it might be the last pick on this list doesn't make this a not good of a fragrance. It's just maybe not my first choice for a date. But everything else, this is awesome. Next up on this list is freaking amazing. I love this stuff. This stuff is extremely uplifting. It's spring and summer and fall time vibes. Autumn vibes all day. It's not too dense where you can't rock it in the summertime. But I think this one will do so much better in the spring and fall time. I mean, when I wear this fragrance, I could just see myself walking in like an orchard. Or like just this beautiful trail with a bunch of blossoming trees. Where they just started blossoming. Some cherry blossoms. And all those beautiful smells smells in the air and that's basically what I get with Glorious Oud Royal Blanc which is basically musk therapy. This is very unisex and it's very unique, very soft, very uplifting. She might want to just cuddle you honestly when you're wearing this but in every good way. So usually in the winter time when we're thinking about cuddle type fragrances you're thinking about something sweet, dark, sexy, seductive but this is day date cuddle time. So if you want to be cuddled in the day go for something like this. Something musky, soft, lacks the peppers, doesn't have too much of the sharpness. It's not going to break necks, but rather it's going to provide a soft shoulder where she could just lay her head on and just tell you how good you smell. So occasions for this, I'm sure you figured it out. Spring, summertime, and fall, I would really reserve this for maybe when the weather gets just a little bit cooler. If there's a nice bit of wind, it'll carry this fragrance beautifully. It's really nice and soft. I would recommend spraying this at least six times, honestly, because it isn't that it's not strong. It lasts a long time, but it doesn't really project too much. But be careful. Don't spray it too soon to the date. You definitely want to test this first, but still, awesome. 
Gloria Saud, Royal Blanc by Fragrance World, aka F.A. Paris. So F.A. Paris is just their uh, higher end. Next up on this list is another one that I would recommend wearing outside. So you're going biking, you're going running together, you're going to be sweating, you're going to be doing stuff. I would go with this one because this activates in the heat and it smells good even if you sweat, but I wouldn't go more than four sprays, four to six sprays max, because this is stronger than the original. And because of the concentration, if you put too much, when it mixes with your sweat, it might come off off-putting. So be careful with this one. Play around with the sprays, test it. This is Parfum Diomes Sport. So this is a parfum, whereas the original is an eau de toilette. So it's not an eau de parfum, it's two steps above in concentration. So you've got about 10% minimum more oil in this one, and it lasts. So that's why I say be careful with the sprays, but this, Occasion, really anywhere. Even if you're indoor, you can get away with this because it lasts and it smells really easy to like, honestly, and smells good. It smells really good. Citruses and musk. That's, you can't go wrong. Autumn and fall and summer vibes all in this bottle right here. Very nice stuff. This next fragrance is creamy pineapple mousse. That's what it is with woody undertones. So whenever I smell this, my mouth waters because it's that good. This is Emir's Cedrat Essence. This stuff, you guys, is so mouthwatering. At first, you might be like, hmm, okay, pineapple woods. But man, as the days go on and the more I wear this, this is so freaking addicting. So addicting. This is summertime, springtime, fall time, just like most of these fragrances. And honestly, you could rock this indoors. You can rock this outdoors. You could rock it anywhere. Performance on this is about average. I don't get more than like five hours with this fragrance, but that's kind of a good thing. I wouldn't recommend more than six sprays on this because although it doesn't last that long, you could still smell it for the first two hours pretty easily. And if she comes in for a hug and you've got more than six sprays on, you're gonna gas her out. Basically, like I said, pineapple mousse with some woody undertones. This is delicious. Sidrat Essence. Last on this list. This is, I mean, if I could rebrand this fragrance, which I highly suggest they do, I would just put aromatics. That's what I would call this because I pretty much drink this stuff. I hype this one to death and it's because it's worth it. It's worth it. It's like, you guys, if you don't have this already, please just get it. Just get it. Trust me. This is less than $30. Okay. And keep your expectation realistic. But this, I have a bottle in my car, I have a bottle in my gym bag, I have a bottle in my duffel bag, and I've got one in my freaking bedroom, right next to my head. So if I'm going to bed, or she's coming to bed with me, I'm spraying it. Anyways, this is Qaid al-Fursan. Man, man. This is a delicious, realistic pineapple. There's a bit of Baccarat undertones to this. There really is. So it's not just straight up pineapple, but Baccarat undertones with pineapple. To my nose, it doesn't really have much of that birch that's associated with Aventus, so it's quite different. This thing is like a Frankenstein. It's got a little bit of Aventus, not too much of the birch, a little bit of Baccarat, and a little bit of black excess. I love this stuff. Pineapple goodiness. Oh my lord. Pineapple, creamy, and honestly, you could layer this with almost any fragrance. That's what makes this amazing. Number one spot, man. Appropriate? Anywhere. Anything. Anytime. Indoor. Outdoor. Just be careful because a lot of people go anosmic to this one, but it is strong. I get easily eight hours out of this fragrance, and I know a lot of people are saying that they don't, and I'm pretty sure you're going nose blind because this stuff is pretty strong, so be careful. If you're going on a date and you're about to spray this on, I wouldn't go more than four to six sprays, especially if it's right before the date. So if you're going to wear this right before the date, no more than like four to five sprays in all honesty. You don't want to gas her out. It's nice to smell nice, but when you're going to be in close encounters with somebody that you're trying to impress and you're spraying my usual of 12 to 14, it's not realistic. I use those number of sprays when I'm still about to go out and about. I'm not really going to be in close encounters with anybody or I really want to make a statement and I'm not really caring too much. So Latafa's Qaid al-Fursan, I mean, just get it. That's it, y'all. These were 10 fragrances that I would recommend for day dates. You don't have to just take her out at night. You don't have to just meet her at 7 or 8 o'clock at the restaurant or pick her up for a movie or anything like that. You should take her out. You should go out for a nature walk, go out to the beach, go out and do things like that. 
And that's definitely going to set you apart from some of the other dates, along with some of these fragrances. These fragrances will also help you stand aside or step out from some of the other dates that she might have been on or that you might have been on. If you enjoyed watching this video and you want to watch videos like this and more, scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to check those discount codes down in the description. And until next time, peace.